Ciao ciao ciao, buongiorno, good morning, it's Marco Pasta here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a lasagna, it's gonna be my lasagna. Here we have had almost all the ingredients that we need, we're missing one super important ingredient, the mozzarella. Italy you can find it everywhere, but here in New York you have to provide good food. I'm gonna take you around the city and we're gonna buy mozzarella together. But now I'm gonna start my dough. Remember, the dough has always had to rest for at least minimum 30 minutes. So I start the dough now and then we go buy the stuff. First thing, we're gonna crack the eggs in our glass bowl. I'm gonna mix it very well. I start adding the flour. I feed your pasta bowl with some flour. And we can transfer our pasta dough. Leave it like this. It's gonna heat all the flour on the pasta board. Okay, my pasta dough is ready. We can do the proof just pushing it. And if it comes back by itself, like it's doing, it means that it's ready. We can now wrap it and let it rest in the fridge. Good enough. Okay, the dough is resting. Now let's go around the city to find our mozzarella and we're gonna come back to complete our lasagna. So I'm on my way to go buy the ingredients for my lasagna and I just remember seeing uh, to all the people around me that today is Memorial Day. It's so packed. So this is probably the best spot to find authentic Italian products, but it's so expensive, Jesus. That's what you have to do if you are at the other side of the ocean to make a good lasagna. So let's have a look to the ingredient list. You say I have almost everything, I'm just missing some mozzarella, basil, and that's it. I have everything home, so let's find the mozzarella and I'm gonna show you a little bit of everything. Here we have all the type of mozzarella, grandissima, grande, classica, those are the dimensions. The mozzarella classica is $5.90. Here is where they sell fresh pasta, and it's gonna be me, the only provider of fresh pasta in New York. Okay, now that I see it, I wanna tell you something, guys. Italian sausage in the US is not Italian sausage. Never! I want to show you Paradise Bunch of Parmigiano Reggiano, the original one, I'm sure about that. This is 36 months, one of the best, $26 for this little piece. How much is that back home? I don't know, I'll say probably a third. What is that? $26.84 like, for... What is that, 500 grams? Probably like... Even 500 grams? Yeah, it will be probably... 11. 12. Yeah. yeah, 11, 12. But I mean, now we're here, so... Subscribe so I can back up the channel every day. Of course, I couldn't resist. I had to take my focaccia with prosciutto crudo. What's in there? It's prosciutto, burrata, and arugula. And I'm gonna eat it in this beautiful square, in the Flatiron Building, Madison Square Garden or Park. Park. Now let's go home. We have to cook the lasagna. Hello, ciao, I'm back from my trip on New York to buy mozzarella. I'm gonna start making my tomato sauce, but first I have to do something important. After the tomato sauce, I'm gonna put the dough outside. It's gonna sit for at least 10 minutes before we start working with it. For the tomato sauce, I start cutting some shallots and now I'm gonna do the same with these weird carrots that doesn't have the classic orange color of carrots but yeah, it's a carrot and we're gonna cut the carrots in little pieces we put shallots and carrots together we do it even smaller, we take a bigger knife and that's probably fine we don't want it super small like this, should be fine now, we go in the kitchen Plain super high for your olive oil and then we're gonna add our carrots and shallot mix we take our mix we have cooked these a couple of minutes 
this beautiful beef. We're gonna add it to our shallots and carrots. With a fork, mix everything together. Okay, now that the meat has some color, it's almost done. We can add our tomato puree in the sauce. Start mixing everything together. We add some salt and some sugar. I usually put more sugar than salt. The basil. Okay, now we put down the flame and we let it cook for 20 minutes. Let's get the pasta board and start rolling our baby that is pre-rested after two hours. We can open it. So we take our mattarello and the flour is so important. We're gonna put it on the pasta board. We don't want the pasta to stick on the pasta board and on the pasta as well, because we don't want her to stick on our rolling pan. And we push it a little bit and we start. One, two, we flip it, three, and four. Okay, starting with this moment, you want to avoid as much as you can touching the pasta and that's the technique you put the rolling pin here rolling pan here and you start rolling like this don't worry it's not gonna stick the flower is avoiding that and you roll it like this and you work on this side that's the technique you push and go on while your hands are doing this movement Look, that's pretty easy. From this point, you want to put an half on the pasta board and the other half down here. And then you start working just on an half. And again, now the other half. We keep doing that until it's thin enough. I don't know when it's thin enough, when you're going to see the wood board behind your pasta. Here we have our beautiful pasta sheets. We can put it down. The shapes are not the same because I make amazing tasty food, but I'm not the best doing beautiful stuff. So don't expect choreographic and artistic stuff from me. We're gonna cut it to let it fit in our oven pot. So that's probably it. See if it fits. Perfect. You see, like, I have this uncovered part here. I can use one of those and make something like a, a puzzle. I take this little part and I put it here. While the pasta is drying, we prepare the last ingredients. And today, we went by this mozzarella grandissima, super big. We're gonna open it and we start drying it because we don't want the lasagna to be too wet. So we're gonna start drying it before we use it. We pour all the water out break it with our hands like this mozzarella is drying we can start grating the king of all the cheeses a 36 month season parmigiano reggiano okay, what we want to do next is prepare the boiling water because you have to cook the lasagna before you put it in the oven just a little boil and then you start putting the topping very easy you take a lasagna sheet you dump it in the boiling water and then you put it in the pot that is gonna go in the oven topping it and then you go the second part and you do the same and then you close it and you do the same usually when the pasta comes up of the water it means that it's ready I'm gonna take it and dump it into the cold water so I can touch it this is a trick I don't know how many people really do that just do it because you see you have to touch it a lot and it's almost impossible to touch when it's super hot with a spoon we start topping our lasagna we put two or three or four it depends how big it is spoon of tomato sauce and then we go on with mozzarella and we sprinkle some parmigiano all over the place and we cover the first floor and we do the same here we add some tomato sauce mozzarella some parmigiano sprinkle now you keep doing that until your lasagna is high enough that's it when it's gonna be ready you put it in the oven did all the floors and now with this parmigiano we sprinkle on the last floor 
because it's what gonna make it crispier. Well done. Our lasagna, it's composed and it's ready to go in the oven. For about 20, 25 minutes, 380 Fahrenheit degrees. Oh, that was probably my lasagna that is ready. Let's take it off and see what we did. Oh, hello, it's almost exploding. Hello, beauty. Look how beautiful. Look. I cannot cut it right now because it's too hot and I'm gonna do a mess. That's it, that was my lasagna video. Make sure you subscribe and put a like and share and whatever and go follow the social media. You're gonna help me to open my pasta shop in New York. That's our goal together. Subscribe, share, like. Thank you.